Pesky showers will continue overnight, but a much improved forecast for your Friday, followed by what could be a stormy Saturday. You want to stay tuned for more on that. I'm Jeff Huffman from the WRUF Weather Center. We've had a very weak disturbance kind of parked over the state of Florida. It developed because of the difference in temperature and pressure from water to land. It's very common this time of year. And wow, what a Seattle feel to the atmosphere, right? Low clouds, drizzle, fog. That'll be the story overnight. These pesky showers will be lifting north northeastward and notice there will be a decrease in activity after midnight tonight, but some low clouds and drizzle could continue and then watch the uh, nature of the cloud cover tomorrow. It becomes more speckled here. There will be some breaks in the overcast, a decent amount of afternoon sunshine, a south wind, and it will start to feel a little, dare I say, humid tomorrow afternoon. A very spring like day, if you will, after the uh, bitter cold winter temperatures we had early in the week overnight. We're only going to fall to the upper 50s in most areas and check out the temperature rise on your Friday with a south wind. We're talking 80 in High Springs, close to 80 in Gainesville, maybe 81 in Ocala. The warm up is brief, though. Another front is on our doorstep Saturday, and this one's moving a little faster than earlier anticipated. Could have a brief morning shower Saturday, not an all day rain event, but wow, a line of thunderstorms will certainly impact outdoor plans Saturday late afternoon, quickly moving through in the early part of the evening hours and then clearing out of here on Sunday. We could have some severe weather with this front. We're going to watch it very closely. Low risks for it as you see here on Threat Tracker. That's around 3 or 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon. Slightly higher chances up near Lake City and Jacksonville, southeastern Georgia. That green line represents when the front goes through. We're going to dry out by midnight Saturday night. We'll keep an eye to the skies for you and have team coverage if there is any strong thunderstorm activity. Just a quick word. The cooler air coming in behind this system is from the Pacific, so it's not as cold. That Pacific air mass moves overhead Sunday into Monday, but it also allows moisture to return very quickly ahead of another storm system. So there will be some rain Monday night. This storm system will tap into some Canadian air and this polar air mass will come in next Wednesday and Thursday. So that one will feel much colder by the end of next week. Here's your updated six day. Just a brief shower still on Friday. It's a really nice day overall, probably the nicest of the next six and then strong thunderstorms Saturday late afternoon with falling temperatures Saturday night, but Sunday. Not bad because of that Pacific air. Our next front comes in Monday night and that one will have some colder air to work with by next Wednesday and Thursday.